Welcome to Reckon News. What business? Good evening, and welcome back to another installment of Reckon News. I'm your host, Simone Berry. It is such a pleasure to be back here, and I cannot wait to bring you the latest news and updates on all things Creature Fresh related in our fight to save our beloved series. So with that, hold on to your emotional support goat, and let's get started. On January 22nd, the billboards in LA and London have gone up. A lot of these billboards, there were also fan meetups, which were attended by group organizers and fans alike. These billboards were funded by the fans through Kickstarter. I was down in LA for the fan meetup and billboard unveiling. Due to the weather, the LA billboard was delayed by a day. The LA billboard is now up for everyone to see. If you missed the fan meetup and the billboard going up, do not worry. During these fan meetups and the billboards, there was also live streams. From event organizers to bystanders who were unable to attend these billboards and fan meetups, there was a lot to do, including Q&As, as well as just fun little conversations with one another. The fan meetup in London even had a special guest, Taylor, or Albie Rollins himself, the Kalish Prince, attended and did a little Q&A through the live stream. Do not worry if you missed the live stream, you are able to watch it in the link below. If you did not watch the live streams, I highly recommend you do. It was quite fun to hear all the Q&As, as well as just seeing so many fans come together for such a fun and amazing activity. The live streams were quite lively, and there was a big audience, including Lee Bardugo herself visited for a little bit and left a few sweet messages in the live stream chat. After the billboard was up, it did not take long for this to reach the attention of cast and crew. Shortly after the news, many stars and their co-stars were sure to share a lot of pictures of the billboard, both up in London and LA. Along with some amazing news, Rotten Tomatoes released a poll for a fan voting event in which fans were allowed to vote for their favorite TV shows. And as of this weekend, the results are in. Drum roll, please. At the top, winning first place of fan favorite TV show of the Golden Tomato Awards was Shadow and Bone, the Netflix series. Ron Tomatoes himself posted about the win on their Instagram, and it was quite a sweet thing to read for, and goes to show how much love the series has from the fans, and the fandom will never stop fighting to get their beloved series back. In other news, we have a few exciting birthdays from the cast members of Shadow and Bone. Simon Sears' birthday was on the 25th of January. Freddie Carter's birthday was on the 27th of January. Anna Leon Brophy's birthday was on the 31st of January. Sujaya Dasgupta's birthday was on the 2nd of February. Happy birthday, you guys. I hope you've all had a great day and a great birthday month, and I hope you all the best for this next coming year. And with that, that concludes our latest installment of Brecken News. It is always such a joy to be here and bring you some news and updates or just a little refresher of what has happened over the past week and a half. And remember, if you do not feel like watching this newscast, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the newsletter, which is always open for new subscribers. When you subscribe to the newsletter, you'll get news every week as well as exclusive news only seen on the newsletter. So with that, I hope you all a good night. Bring the light and don't let the Volker bite. <laughs> Until next time, bye bye